Branch out from the boring old twig nest. Birds are feathered, Frank Lloyd's writes, building incredible homes with surprising materials. We're counting down 15 of the most architecturally stunning bird nests on Earth, from seashell masterpieces to spiderweb swaddles. But which bird takes the top prize for interior design? Stick around to find out and test your knowledge with our bird-brained quiz. Bald Eagle Nest Number 15 Bald Eagle Nest so is a majestic bird with a wingspan reaching a whopping 2.3 meters. Interestingly, the females are even larger than the males by about 25%. These birds are also champion nest builders. Their creations are the biggest among any bird in North America, with the record holder clocking in at 4 meters deep, 2.5 meters wide, and weighing a staggering 1 ton. Imagine a massive pile of twigs and sticks lined with soft leaves in the center. That's a bald eagle's nest. The bigger the nest, the safer it is for their young. They strategically build these giants on high platforms, like trees or cliffs for a clear view. While the parents hunt by swooping down and snatching prey from the water, they can always keep an eagle eye on their precious chicks back at the nest. But wait, there's more to come. Stay tuned to discover the number one most incredible bird's nest. Number 14. Tailor Bird Nest Ever wondered how the tailor bird got its name? It's all thanks to their impressive nest-building skills. These tiny architects use their beaks like needles, stitching leaves together with plant fibers, spider silk, or even fine grass. This creates a secure pocket where they build the real nest. A cozy cup lined with soft materials. Tailor bird nests are cleverly hidden within thick foliage, making them tough for predators to find. These shy birds themselves prefer to stay hidden in dense vegetation. They're most at home in Southeast Asia, with different subspecies flitting about in Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, and Nepal. Number 13. Edible Nest Swiftlet Their name says it all. Edible nest swiftlets, also known as white nest swiftlets, build nests specifically desired by humans. Common in Southeast Asia, these birds construct their homes in layers, clinging to rocky walls and caves. But the unique building material is what truly sets them apart. The nests are made entirely from the swiftlet's hardened saliva. This unusual construction has become a highly sought-after ingredient in Chinese birds' nest soup. The soup is made by soaking and steaming the nests, and some believe it offers health benefits like improved kidney function and reduced phlegm. The high price tag has led to extensive harvesting, threatening the swiftlet population. To address this, farmers in Indonesia and Malaysia have created artificial birdhouses, complete with recordings of swiftlet calls to attract them. However, this solution comes with a downside for nearby residents. Swiftlets have loud mating calls and use a distinct rattling sound for echolocation, which can be disruptive. Number 12. The Oven Bird Unlike birds drawn to leftover fries in fast food wrappers, the oven bird gets its name for a more wholesome reason. Their cleverly built nests resemble old cooking pots, complete with a rounded body and a domed lid. Constructed from clay over six weeks, it's a true team effort for both parents. Interestingly, oven birds are city slickers, comfortable with human neighbors. They even prefer to use man-made materials, leaving their sturdy nests open for opportunistic saffron finches to move in. Number 11. European Bee Eater Unlike most birds seeking lofty heights, the European Bee Eater embraces the life of a burrower. Come May, these vibrant birds transform into tiny, sandy excavators. They create tunnels along sandy banks, especially near rivers, just like rabbits. Inside these relatively long tunnels, they lay five to eight eggs. But unlike rabbits, bee-eaters are dedicated parents. Both males and females take turns caring for the eggs, feeding, and roosting together, a true team effort lasting about three weeks. Romance is also an interesting dance for bee-eaters. During courtship, the male plays the role of a devoted waiter, diligently finding and delivering food to his mate. Interestingly, 
he pampers her with the larger insects, keeping the smaller ones for himself. Their diet primarily consists of insects, with a particular fondness for bees, wasps, and hornets. But they're smart enough to remove the sting before enjoying their snack. This attentive behavior continues during egg-laying, with the male ensuring his partner is well-fed to maximize their breeding success. Mostly monogamous, bee-eaters favor a single partner. They thrive in warm climates, gracing southern Europe, parts of North Africa, and Western Asia with their presence. However, they're not homebodies. Come winter, these bee-eaters transform into jet-setters, migrating to the lush tropics of Africa to escape the colder months. Number 10. Horned Coot Don't be fooled by their plain black feathers and pale yellow bill. Horned coots are impressive architects. Up close, you'll notice a curious black knob atop their beak. But their true marvel lies beneath the water's surface. These birds build remarkable nests that resemble underwater volcanoes. They achieve this by meticulously piling pebbles into mounds, reaching a staggering 1.5 tons. Imagine a tiny island emerging from the shallows, just far enough, around 40 meters, from the shore to avoid strong currents. Topped with aquatic vegetation, these colossal nests provide a safe haven for the coots to raise their young. Teamwork is key. Pairs collaborate on the construction, which can take months or even years to complete. Sometimes, entire colonies of up to 80 pairs work together, creating a network of these impressive underwater fortresses. Number 9. Hammercop Africa's Hammercop is a champion nest builder. Imagine a massive, thatched roof made of 10,000 twigs. That's their home, taking eight weeks to construct. The inside gets a fancy mud lining, making it waterproof and comfy. Teamwork is key. Both male and female hammer cops contribute equally to this impressive feat. Their long bill hints at a pelican or shoebill connection, but the hammer cop's true trademark is the hammer-shaped crest on its head. While Madagascar is their preferred island, they're adaptable, gracing wetlands and rivers across Africa. They're naturally drawn to water. That's where their diet of frogs and friends resides. Breeding season is no vacation for hammer cops. Together, they build these colossal nests, then take turns keeping the eggs warm. But wait, there's more. These tireless birds build up to four nests a year, constantly working to create a safe haven for their young. Number 8. African Jacana Forget walking on thin ice. The African Jacana defies gravity with its incredible feat of water walking. Long, splayed toes act like snowshoes, distributing their weight on lily pads and floating vegetation. This unique talent has earned them nicknames like Jesus Bird and Lily Trotter. While they rarely take a dip, they're excellent swimmers and can even dive underwater to escape predators. But breeding season brings a change of pace. The usual calm demeanor gives way to a frenzy of squawking and commotion on shore. Before the chaos, however, comes nest building. The jacana's nest is a delicate affair, crafted from floating vegetation and doubling as a mating platform. They construct several of these flimsy structures before selecting one for laying eggs. Unfortunately, these loosely anchored nests can drift or even sink under the weight of the incubating bird, adding another layer of challenge to their already fascinating lives. Number 7. Malifowl. Ditch the treetops. Australia's Malifowl defies nesting norms by building underground. Imagine a massive subterranean mansion, some reach two feet deep and a whopping 150 feet around. The male takes on the excavation duty, digging this enormous hole and then filling it with a comfy layer of leaves, twigs, and other organic delights. Once the female lays her eggs, they add a sandy blanket to retain heat. Here's where things get interesting. The parents are done. Malifowl chicks are on their own after hatching. The struggle for survival begins right away as they spend up to 15 hours digging their way out of this underground nursery. It's a tough start, but hey, independence starts young, right? Pendant Number 6. 
Sociable Weaver Unlike most birds, including their weaver kin, sociable weavers are champions of year-round nesting. Their colonies can range from a cozy 10 to a bustling 500, all sharing massive nests that resemble haystacks perched precariously high in trees or even on telephone poles. The sight is truly awe-inspiring, but the impressive part goes beyond size. Sociable weavers are the sole architects, tirelessly constructing these elaborate communal abodes, and the benefits extend far beyond the sociable weavers themselves. These nests transform into havens for a diverse range of fauna. In South Africa's Teswalu Kalahari Reserve, for example, paper wasps cleverly build their own nests beneath the sociable weavers' chambers. Other birds, like the acacia pied barbet, ashy tit, and red-headed finch, enjoy rent-free lodging. Even mammals get in on the action. Baboons and slender mongooses use the nests as lookout points for foraging, while wild cats like leopards and cheetahs find them ideal for shelter or vantage points to survey the landscape. These massive thatched structures can endure for years, providing a home for over a hundred breeding pairs across generations. The sociable weaver's nest truly embodies the power of community, offering a safe haven, not just for themselves, but for a surprising array of fellow creatures. Number five, Ruby Throated Hummingbird. The hummingbird's nest is a tiny masterpiece, a testament to the incredible skills of the female hummingbird. Unlike many birds where parenting duties are shared, the male hummingbird takes a rather relaxed approach to fatherhood. His role is limited to mating, leaving the nest building and chick rearing entirely to the female. This solo mom dedicates herself to creating a safe haven for her offspring. For up to seven days, she spends hours meticulously gathering materials. Her design choices are both beautiful and practical. She incorporates moss and lichen for camouflage, along with plant fluff, spider silk, cotton fibers, and even tiny bits of bark or feathers. Each element is carefully woven into a dense cup, creating a visually stunning and functional home. But the beauty goes beyond aesthetics. The nest is specifically designed to withstand the elements. Spider silk provides elasticity, allowing the cup to stretch as the chicks grow, while the overall structure offers protection from tipping over in strong winds. The female hummingbird is a marvel of nature, a tireless worker and an ingenious architect, all rolled into one tiny feathered package. Little Greba The little greb, a water bird with a pointed bill and dark neck, builds its nest on the water. It's a floating platform made of twigs and underwater plants, hidden amongst reeds and shallows for protection. Here, the adults lay four seven eggs, cleverly camouflaged with weeds to keep them warm and safe. Once hatched, these little swimmers can take to the water almost immediately, or hitch a ride on mom or dad's back. Number three, Great Hornbill. The Great Hornbill, like its woodpecker cousin, chooses tree cavities or rock crevices for its nest. But unlike the woodpecker, the Great Hornbill's home undergoes a dramatic transformation. The entrance gets sealed almost shut, leaving just a narrow vertical slit. This unusual setup offers maximum protection for the mother and chicks during incubation. The opening is wide enough for the male to pass food through, but too small for predators like monkeys and raptors to squeeze in. Interestingly, despite their impressive size, great hornbills often take over old woodpecker cavities, sometimes even ones enlarged by fungus. Once the female, known for her pickiness, approves the location, the real work begins. The male takes charge of renovations, bringing mud moistened with his saliva and sometimes droppings, shooed wood, and bark. This fascinating team effort involves the male building a wall of mud from the outside, while the female works from the inside. Once complete, the female is essentially sealed in with only the tiny hole for the male to deliver food and communicate. Talk about dedication to chick rearing. This strategy may seem extreme, 
but it highlights the lengths these birds go to for their young. Number two, Jur falcon. The peregrine falcon's close relative, the gyre falcon, Falco rusticulus, is a master of making life difficult for hungry predators. These aerial hunters nest on cliff edges, taking advantage of the precarious terrain. But their nesting strategy gets even more interesting. Gur falcons often choose pre-built nests, borrowing from common ravens or even golden eagles. Talk about efficient use of real estate. Despite the borrowed base, both males and females contribute to the nest preparation. They work together to scrape a shallow depression in the center of the existing structure, creating a simple but functional home. This makes sense considering their habitat, the vast Arctic and Alpine tundra of northern Canada and Alaska. Trees are scarce in these regions, forcing them to rely on the nesting sites of other birds, especially seabirds and waterfowl. These waterfowl often nest on rocky coasts, offshore islands, and along riverbanks, offering the gerfalcons the perfect combination of seclusion and hunting opportunities. The sparse vegetation of their habitat, dominated by low-lying plants like sedges and mosses, explains the basic nature of their nest construction. While the nest itself may be simple, the gear falcon's hunting prowess is anything but. They are relentless predators, feasting on a variety of birds, including seabirds, waterfowl, and songbirds, as well as small mammals like hares, ground squirrels, and even young arctic foxes. Number 1. Weaver Bird Nest forget serenades and flowers. The male weaver bird takes a more practical approach to attracting a mate, elaborate real estate. During mating season, from August to February, these bright yellow birds transform into master weavers, constructing intricate nests to impress potential partners. It's a long and dedicated process, but the results are undeniably impressive. The weaver bird starts by tying a knot, yes, a real knot, with a blade of grass, laying the foundation for a circular masterpiece. Using his beak and feet with remarkable dexterity, he weaves a symphony of materials, strips of grass, leaves, twigs, and even roots. This meticulous process continues until a beautiful ball-shaped nest takes shape, securely suspended from a tree branch. His strong, conical beak acts like a pair of built-in scissors, allowing him to precisely cut the necessary materials. But the talent doesn't stop there. With the help of his feet, he's also a master knot tire, incorporating these reinforcements into the nest structure for added strength. This not only enhances security, but also speaks volumes about his resourcefulness and speed. Believe it or not, the average weaver bird can complete this architectural marvel in just two days. The final product is not just visually stunning, it's also incredibly functional. The tightly woven nest is 100% waterproof, capable of withstanding even violent storms. The male weaver bird is a true artist and engineer, combining beauty with practicality to create the perfect home for his future family. So, which bird reigns supreme in the nest-building competition? It's a tough call. From underwater volcanoes to feathery fortresses, these avian architects defy expectations. What do you think? Leave a comment below with your favorite nest, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more feathery fun. More feathery